Hello, welcome back to the Traveling Happy Hour. I'm Chris, and today we are at Peaky Oasis. It was a huge long line, so I had to drop my wife off, and we're gonna start heading over that way, and let's go find out all the fun and excitement. So cute! Did you see these? Hey everyone, we're back from the Tiki Oasis Tiki Convention. It was the 20th year anniversary and uh, we had a really good time. It was a huge color explosion, lots of fun people and uh, fun things to look at. Uh, so now we're going to, Chris is going to make us a tiki cocktail with some of our new tiki cups. And um, what kind of tiki cocktail are we having? We are going to have a painkiller. Our daughter and our boyfriend, they're a big fan of this cocktail and they introduced it to us. So it's a good tiki cocktail. All right. So. Sounds good. First, you're starting off with orange juice. There's one ounce. I'm making a double. It's one ounce of orange juice. So I'm going to be using two ounces. And while he's pouring that, I will show you the tiki cups that we purchased. We think that these are pretty cool. You can put them on your shelf like this if you get them in the same color. We chose to get two different colors because we like we couldn't choose actually between these two colors. So if you got the same colors though and you put them on your shelf like that, that's a pretty cool little decoration. They also came with glass straws, which are reusable, which are very cool. And they're um, extra sturdy, so they're supposed to not shatter. Um, so we'll see about that. But we really like these, and we'll bring these out first because this is what Chris is going to put our painkillers in. Eight ounces of pineapple juice. Oh, I might have to be adding it over to the other side. I'm gonna pour, I've already got some ice in here. So while he's doing that, I will show you some other things that we got that are very nifty. Uh, the Trader Vic's, which is a very big tiki brand, uh, was at the convention and they had a special um, design for this year. And we thought that they were very cool. I love the turquoise and the green. They seem very um, retro to me. So we have those very cool glasses. Two ounces of coconut, real coconut cream. Not a big fan of coconut, but this is actually pretty good. And if you watched our video last week when we talked about rums, we're gonna be using some of the Hamilton rum and we're gonna be using two ounces per glass, and so we're gonna be using four ounces of Hamilton rum. Why did you choose Hamilton for this drink? Because I really liked it. It was actually a really tasty rum, and just thought it would work out pretty good. We'll try it. We'll let you know how it tastes. So while he's doing that, I'll bring out a couple more glasses that we purchased. Some more retro, very, very retro looking glasses. I love the brown and the orange. Uh, these were the actual convention design glasses for this year. So we bought a set of those as well, highball glasses. It's so fun to have different glasses for a cocktail party because then they become a conversation piece as well. Let me shake this up real fast. 
We have a full load right there. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some big tiki cups to fill. <laughs> well, also, it calls for crushed ice, and I've crushed up most of it, but I'm just going to smack some around. It's fun when you have aggression and you're making a cocktail. These bags are pretty cool. Have you ever talked about the bag? No, I haven't. Um, I forget the name of the bags. Makeup. Right? No. It, uh, oh my goodness. All right. Well, we'll save it for next time. But we'll this bag it, is yeah. very cool. It's an ice crushing bag. You just stick the ice in there and pound it, and the water doesn't go through the bag. Darn. Now I can't think of what it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but... I, uh, I, I um, hit him with a question that we hadn't uh, rehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a Lewis bag. Good times. So while he's doing that, I will bring out one more glass that we purchased. And it is the Tiki Oasis Tiki Cup of the Year. It's very fancy because this is their 20 year anniversary. Uh, it has a lid that has a little flame on it. It's very cool. The lid has some ornate uh, designs as well. And on the back, you actually get some little advertisement. So we loved this tiki cup. We would have loved to have bought two, but they were a little pricey, so we did not. Some folks are actually selling theirs on eBay for twice the price, but we will not be selling ours because we love it. So there's our jungle bird. I've made up a couple different garnishes. I like to play around with garnishes. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. We have one. He's so creative. And then we have another one that's... What happened to its little fronds? Those are just going to be just stuck, in, stuck there? in there. Oh, yeah. So you're showing two different looks. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it lets you play around with different garnishes. And then you add some nutmeg. I think I like that one better, actually. Well, would you like this glass? I would. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Cheers, honey. Cheers. <laughs> A painkiller. Did you tell them on the manufacturer uh, that made these? I did not. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. That is a great tiki cocktail. Actually, on the mm. business card now, I'm just drawing a blank. It, we stuck his name on there. Um, and the straw. <laughs> mm. So I'll show you a couple more things that we purchased that are pretty cool. We love this bumper sticker. It says, follow me to Tiki Oasis. Very cute. I like that. That will probably be going on the suitcase. <laughs> and then Chris is, I don't know if you guys know this, but Chris is a big sock uh, fan. He has so many different colored socks that he wears with his Doc Martens. He's quite stylish. So he got some new socks. They have a, looks like maybe a Mai Tai on there. What do you think? Yeah. Is that a Mai Tai? I think so. We love the bright yellow. Pretty cute. And one thing that we noticed when we went there is that almost every girl has a huge flower in her hair. And I thought, well, I, I think I need a flower. So I went on the hunt for the perfect flower. And I found it. And it's just beautiful. So I will show you. I think that it will go something like this. I like the red. It's very pretty. We will show you the card of the woman who makes them and sells them online in case you're interested. All of our products, we will show you who sells them and how to purchase them yourself. They're all small businesses. <laughs>
Another thing that I bought for myself, because everybody had on this fabulous jewelry, and another thing is that everybody needs a good cocktail ring. So I found what I felt like was the perfect cocktail ring. Very nice. Yes. Nice and sparkly. <laughs> Uh, I fell in love with this little statue. There was lots of tiki, um, like wood tiki uh, decorations. Lots of it. Lots of artists. The artists were there in the booths with their products. It was really fun to talk to them. Um, I loved this. I just thought it was very charming. And I think the last thing is a picture. Also, the artist was there, and I got to talk to the artist. And I just love this and I can't wait to hang it above my record collection. I think Marilyn Monroe is absolutely adorable. And uh, her perched up right on a, on a cabinet like that with those records is just perfect right above my record collection. So those were the things that we found. We had a really good time. If you haven't been to the Tiki Oasis, it is a yearly event. And uh, we absolutely um, recommend that you look it up and don't miss it next year. You don't need tickets to get to the marketplace where we purchased all of this stuff, although tickets are fun. <laughs> There's lots of other events that you'll get to, to do with the tickets. We unfortunately didn't go to all the events because we didn't. We, we did didn't, not have tickets. We did not have tickets, <laughs> but we will next year. We will next year for it, sure. It, it was amazing. People decorate all of the balconies of, the, of all the hotel looking down. It's a big pool party. Tons of bands playing around and lots of alcohol that they're giving free samples away to everybody. So, yeah, oh, it's a really great place to try rums. Correct, um, yes. Yeah, if you saw Chris's video last week, <laughs> um, trying different rums before you have to buy the whole bottle is definitely um, a, 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 a good strategy. Good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that is the end of our show. And if you liked us, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell because then you'll get an alert when we add new videos. And uh, we hope you had a good time. And we hope that you catch Tiki Oasis next year if you missed it this year. And um, have a happy, happy hour. Have a happy, <laughs> happy hour. Bye. Bye. <laughs>